Hey, what's up guys? This is the Maze Alpha, and it's a good looking phone with a pretty cool name, but more importantly, it's got some very decent specs at quite a low price. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. The phone has a tall and angular look, somewhat similar to that of the Xiaomi Mi Mix, and with a six inch screen, it's almost as big, and you'll generally need two hands to operate it. Along the front side of the Maze Alpha, there is only one off-screen button, which doubles up as the fingerprint scanner, with the rest having been placed on-screen in a toolbar at the bottom. The Maze Alpha doesn't have a cheap feel to it at all. It feels solid and well put together, though the shiny backing does get quite hot if it's left under the sun. Fortunately, I didn't experience any drop in performance because of this. The 4000 mAh battery makes this phone quite heavy, though this also means that with a new phone you should be getting around 2 days of power from one charge, which is a big plus. The accessories that come with the phone are your typical array of cable, charger and manual, but thankfully on top of that, Maze have also included a tempered glass screen protector, saving you a bit of trouble in having to go out yourself to get one that fits. The phone has a USB Type-C port, which is quite standard in its design, so it should be working with any other USB Type-C cables you might already have, and doesn't require an extra long tip like some more ruggedly built phones do. The quality of the screen on the phone looks good, and a very important feature of this phone is the screen's edge-to-edge -edge design, which I think works very well and makes the phone especially stylish. Also, another important thing to bear in mind is that this phone does indeed come with Google Play pre-installed, saving you the hassle of having to download it and install it yourself. Spec-wise, the Maze Alpha has 4GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage, a Helio P25 processor, and a Mali T880 GPU. On the Antutu benchmark tests, the Maze Alpha scored 64,000, a mid-range score which was just slightly more than the particular version of the Xiaomi Mi 5X I previously reviewed. As for the cameras on the Maze Alpha, there's a 5 megapixel camera on the front which somewhat unusually is placed at the bottom, meaning you'll have to turn the phone upside down when you want to snap selfies. On the rear, there's a 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel camera combo. These take quite good photos for a budget phone, Unfortunately, the bokeh mode is quite inflexible and doesn't adjust to different objects, instead just displaying an in-focus central circle with the surrounding picture out of focus. So, despite a couple small flaws, overall the Maze Alpha is very professionally built and still has far more power than most budget smartphones. And if you get a Maze Alpha now, it'll only cost you $196, which really is an amazing price for a mid-range smartphone. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.